brethren, I pray you sing a new song. Sing praise in the assembly of the righteous. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let the high praise of God be on the mouths of the saints and a two-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance on the demonic nations and punishments on those peoples to bind their kings with chains. This honor have all his saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing to him a new song. into slavery Wait, with ships. Did you know your people went into slavery by ships? By the Spaniards? No. Uh, Wait. You didn't know that? Well, I know Spaniards, like, uh, but I don't yeah, know. Exactly they like took y'all by ships and forced y'all to Spain, and y'all was forced to learn another language, which y'all did not. Wait. Same thing with natives. Y'all was taking those ships as well. Go ahead and keep going, huh? Wait. By the way, where have I spake unto thee? Thou should see it no more again. And there you should be sold unto your enemies. And once y'all got off them ships and y'all was sold to y'all enemies, can you agree that once you got off the ships, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives was sold to their enemies? It wasn't, it wasn't no, it wasn't no friendship. We were sold to our enemies. That's what it was. Point back clear. Go ahead. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women. And, no, and we still here in our captivity, if you ain't know. Uh, do you feel like you're free? You don't? You shouldn't. Y'all the main ones who getting cursed. Y'all the main ones, you know how hard Hispanics work. You shouldn't have to work that hard unless it's for the most high. Go ahead. Sold them to your enemies for bun men and bun women and no man should buy you. Meaning nobody was going to redeem us out of our captivity. That's why we still here in our oppressor's hand. That's why we still here in America. That's why we still here going through these curses. Give me Deuteronomy uh, 2868. And um, give me the one um, 48. 28, 48. Start at 47. All right. John. What's the book of Durham? Chapter 28. Two Wait. more curses, bro. And y'all need to just, if y'all gonna go to the skate park, chill out, watch some people for a minute, bro. Wait until the sun go down, look at setting. Just wait a couple minutes, bro. I don't want y'all breaking the Sabbath. You know what I'm saying? I gotta tell y'all this. Wait. You know what I'm saying? I have to. Ain't nobody else gonna do it. Go ahead. It's the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 47. Mm -hmm. Because thou servest the Lord, or servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness mm -hmm. and with gladness wait, of heart, wait. for the abundance of all things. Uh -huh. Therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemies. That's why we serve in our enemies, because we don't serve them with joyfulness and with the upright wait. heart, with the gladful heart, like this is what I want to do. Go ahead. Wait. Therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. And hunger? And wait. in thirst. Hold on. Whenever you go to the store, I mean, it's like it. Whenever you want to eat, what you do? You go to the store, Wait. you go buy you food, you uh -huh. go to McDonald's, you go to Popeye's, whatever you do, you know what I'm saying? Wherever you like to go. You go to who? You go to your enemies. Do you own those businesses? Wait, that's what it is. You go to your enemies for everything. Go ahead. Did that make sense though? And everything you want to do, whatever you want to do, whether it's hunger, go ahead. And in thirst. And thirst. Whenever you thirst, you go where? To your enemies. Go ahead. And in nakedness. And nakedness. To put them clothes on your back. Wait. Nike. I don't know what y'all new kids wearing nowadays. You know what I'm saying? I seen some exotic stuff. People out here in fishnets. I don't know what's going on in America. Go ahead though. Fishnets and leopards. And in want of all things. <laughs> and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Y'all was actually having yokes of irons upon thy neck. That's something that should make you mad. Give me that in Ecclesiastes, please. Until he had destroyed them. Until he had destroyed them. And that's why our people is destroyed. That's why we out here thinking that we actually free in America. You gotta be, and that's what they slogan, home of the free, land of the brave, whatever it is. What, uh, what um, Trump say, make America great again. It was never great. All they did was profit on our backs, so-called blacks, natives, and Hispanics. That's how America got to the statue. Yeah, it was. That's why they, that's how they, that's how America is well known. That's how they got to, they, they stature. That's how Babylon got a stature by our hard work, our labor, and our, 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 our work. This is, this is ours, honestly. Wait. You know what I'm saying? This ain't, this ain't there. I got Micah 2 and 2. Go ahead, bring it out. All right, this is the book of Micah, chapter 2, and verse 2. Did you get, hold on, did you get Ecclesiastes, what I wanted? 7? Yes, 7. Read it, read it real quick. This is Ecclesiastes 7, verse 7. Surely oppression, make the guy what? 
make it a wise man mad. So we already came to agreement that we are still being oppressed. We still in captivity. This should be something that upsets you. This should be something that you wake up and be like, damn, I gotta wait. Shit, I gotta go to work. I gotta go through this again. Surely oppression should make a wise man mad. If you're not mad, then I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? White people benefiting from everything that we labor from. What? They, them even walking on this pavement. Wait. We don't get nothing. Literally. Uh, Go ahead and get what you got. Right. It's the book of Micah, chapter 2 and verse 2. Uh, and they covet fields and take them by violence. Uh, uh, and houses and take them away. Uh -huh. So they oppress a man in his house, uh, even a man in his heritage. And that's what happened. First of all, they oppressed us and took our heritage. That's why when I asked you, well, what's your identity? Are you a Native American? Like, what's your, what are you, what are your, what is your race? He was like, well, shit. Um, it was a couple things. You said, I'm, I'm Hispanic, Irish, and some other stuff, right? You said that was a couple things. Well, you can't have three nationalities. You can only have one. And it goes off the father. It goes off your father of your household. No, it's good. It's good. They believe you. It goes off your household. It goes off your father. So that's what your nationality would be. Not, well, I'm mixed. I'm Russian, Dutch, and Italian, and a little bit of Puerto Rican. And I might have a sprinkle of... Yeah, it's none of that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't none of that. It goes off your father. Um, and he said it oppressed your heritage Potato and your house. <laughs> you know, y'all had houses and structures and everything here in and, and, um, and America. The natives did. And what happened? The whites came over here. They came over here and took, wait, wait. took your land and raped, robbed, murdered, and ravished your women. That's what they did. And now they're here saying, let's make America great again. Well, it was great before you got here. That's um, right. It was, it, was, it was fine and dandy before you came. Teach Yeah, actually, a lot of the white men that colonized America would prefer to go to Indian tribes rather than stay in American colonies. Wait, say, say it again. A lot of American like they people in the colonies us. would go into like Indian tribes and Wait. like run away. Like, there's actually a letter that Benjamin Franklin wrote to one of his friends, and he says, "I can't understand why, whenever the white men get a chance, Wait. they run to the forest with the Indians." Come. They know they wicked. Yeah. They know they so wicked. You got, uh, Wait. You got it. Like, they got the uh, something called the Dolls Rolls Act, right? Where the white man signed up to be Native American. Signed up to be. Right, they paid $5. Right? They paid $5 to be a Native, huh? $5 to be a Native, man. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. I ain't never heard nothing like that in my life. Would you pay to be a, would you pay to be American? Yeah. Hey, Americans ain't shit, bro. Honestly. Excuse the language, but America ain't nothing. Y'all know America's gonna get destroyed, right? How you know? Wait. You see the economy falling? Stocks falling? You see our economy collapsing. Good around 2051. Hey, get um this song, brother. This song's 21 and You laugh, you laugh. Don, shalom. Watch this. You got song 21, 21 and nine. What's going on, brother? We talking about people teaching that they Israelites. Wait, go hard. You know you're Israelite too. That's your little brother right there. I'll pray. Hey, you did tell me your big brother was coming out. All praise. Man, I'm glad you can make it. Everybody got his brother to come to camp, man. That's right. All praise. Wait. Uh, 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 and, and a lot of things, bro, just to clear up the division, a lot of um, Hispanics and natives and so-called black um, Negroes, they don't really get along. They right. think it's some Wait. kind of division. Uh, but honestly, we all God's chosen people. But you know why we think there's division and we different? Uh, take, no. take one guess. We just think that they're better than the other. Even though they're hey, right we are better than other people. I told you. Dude, around every seven and six. But you know why we think we better um, than each other amongst each other? Why is that? Why is that? I tell you. I give you one. I give you one. One reason. Well, white people. They over dividing us and telling us that we're different, but we ain't different at all. We guys chose some people. Hey, um, you got that for me? Right. So. I told you that America was going to get destroyed. You believe me? You believe the Bible? Watch this. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 21, and verse 9. Uh huh. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven. Thou shalt make them. Who is them? Everybody. Watch this. As a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. Uh huh. The Lord shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. And the fire shall devour them. Go ahead. Their fruit shall thou destroy from the earth. And that seed from among the children of men. Uh, and that's what's gonna happen. So called Esau, Edomites, the damn devil, you can see him when he walk up. Mark. I don't know. You can just tell. You can they it ain't right. 
something off about them. They eat red meat. You know what I'm saying? They sleep with their brothers and their sisters. They commit incest. All that. All kind of wickedness here in Babylon. And it disgusts me. Hey, go to um, go to Zechariah 14 and 8. I'm going to show you another example. And watch, when you hear this, you're going to be like, damn, this is, that's nukes. Yeah. I'm going to show you. America going to be destroyed by nukes. You know they, this, probably gonna have to head out, bro. All right, hey, hey, as long as you're keeping the Sabbath, the sun almost down, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Try. You know what I'm saying? If you take one foot, that's all it takes. Just take one, just take a try. See what happens. Keep some commandments. Go ahead. It's the book of Zechariah, chapter 14 and verse 8. Now, if you can, if you, if we read this and you're like, damn, I don't know what that means. If, if I don't, and you don't think it's nukes, then I don't know. You might not get it. Watch this, though. 14 and 8. 14 and 12. It's like it. Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 12. Uh -huh. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people. This will be the plague that the Lord smite all the people. Go ahead. That I fought against Jerusalem. They fought against Jerusalem. We the Israelites from Jerusalem. Go ahead. Their flesh to consume away while they stand upon their feet. He said your flesh gonna consume away while you stand on your feet. What that sound like? That sound like nukes? That sound like an atomic bomb? Nuclear. Go ahead. And, and their tongue. Well, and their eyes shall, shall consume away in their holes. He said, your eyes going to consume away in their eye sockets. That sound like nukes, huh? Uh, uh, go ahead. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And your tongue going to consume away in your mouth. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from the Lord shall be among them. Con. And they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor. Mm -hmm. And his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. And Judah also shall fight at Jerusalem. And the wealth of all the heathen round about should be gathered together. Hey, and you know what these other nations gonna do? They gonna try and fight against us. They gonna try and fight against the Lord. But they gonna get hit with nukes. How can you fight somebody that got the Lord on their side? What can you do? When he organizing or orchestrating everything, what can you do against a mastermind like that? You can't do nothing. This is Revelation chapter 17, verse 14. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. And they're going to try and make war with Yahweh Shah. They're going to try and make war with Jesus when they find out that Jesus is not white. Jesus do not look like a white man. Sign at? I don't know where to sign that. Right there. Right there. That's not what Jesus looked like. That's why we put the devils on him, because Jesus is actually black. Uh, and that's not his name. Wait. His name is Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. Con, it says, for he is king of, he is Lord of Lord and kings of kings. Uh -huh. And they are, that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. And he said unto them, unto me, the waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, are people and multitude and nations and tongues. And the ten horns which thou sawest, the beast, these shall hate the whore. And, and the shall... beast, we already know what that is. That's these other nations, primarily um, Esau. Primarily the them, the white man, and they're gonna try and they're gonna try and fight the Lord. I already told you how you gonna fight the Lord. That don't make sense. That don't even sound right coming out of my mouth. Uh, fight the Lord. That don't sound right. I almost choked. Uh, right, right. <laughs> I almost got struck down. So what's up, y'all? Finna go skate? Oh, you chill out. All right, hey, I'll praise it. I'm going and let y'all go, but um, get a flyer, bro. I'm pro. Subscribe. Check us out, bro. Check us out on YouTube. What's going on? What's the difference between what child and what Muslim? A lot. Like what? Well, first off, we don't call ourselves Muslims. Where do you see Muslim in the Bible? I don't know. I'm not. You don't see it. I'm learning, I'm learning stuff, so. Con, con. So you want to know the difference, right? Muslims are calling themselves Muslims. We call ourselves Israelites because we're God's chosen people. That's the main difference. we God's chosen people. They not. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got you. What's going on? Hey, I'll pass that real quick. Oh, you got something for yeah, it, huh? Oh, okay. hey, you getting a cry? Oh, okay. No, we got I'm about to say, I know some cuts. Uh, I, got some, got I got some on the phone, though. Yeah. Okay. Con, this is uh, Babylon Timbuktu. Yeah. It says, uh, this is page 48. It says, the Prophet Muhammad, who uh, came up with Islam, it says, the Prophet Muhammad adopted many principles and laws from the Jewish religion. So we know who the Jews are. They the so-called, they the, not the so-called, the Israelites. Right, so, the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, we guys chose the people in the Bible which are called Israelites, right? Uh, so, you got, you got, we don't believe in religion, right? We don't believe in religion, we believe in the law, statutes, and the commandments and have a faith in our Lord and Savior, who they call Jesus Christ, right? Uh, so, when it talks about the Prophet Muhammad, the one that created um, Islam, 
which are called Muslims. Read it again from the top. Uh, the Prophet Muhammad adopted many principles and laws from the Jewish religion. Hey, read that part again. The Prophet Muhammad adopted many principles and laws from the Jewish religion. Now, you might ask yourself, well, why did they do that? Why did they copy our our, our traditions? They want to be like us. We the Israelites. They don't get no better. Live in the faith. Go ahead. And it talks about uh, the, the children of Israel in the uh, Quran. 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 Go ahead. Huh. I mean, hey, you feel like that was answered? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. To them take our nationality, try and take our national. To them following other gods, that's what they're gonna do. Putting our people in it, yes. No, that's not something we should be doing. That answer, or you need a little bit more clarification. Yeah, just wait. Go ahead. How do y'all feel about white people? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Sex races, being with each other. Say that one more time. Like lesbians. Like males and males. Females and females. Well, that, it's not about how I feel. It's about what. You knew. You knew. But I'm going to show you how. <laughs> he said he knew. They give Romans 125. You got Romans? All right. Come on, this is Leviticus chapter 18, 22. It says, thou shalt not Wait. lie with mankind as with womankind. Hey, so uh, a man shouldn't lay with a woman as he, I mean, it's like a man shouldn't lay with a man as he do with a woman. Uh, Apologize. That's that's unforgivable. That's something you should get put to death for. It luckily, is an abomination. God, luckily, we got your house shot. Luckily, we can repent and change. But you know these men, they burn after that. They burn after, they burn after being with another man. That don't even sound right again coming out of my mouth. Hey, get that Romans. Did I answer it though? Yeah, 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 she's straight. Okay. Yeah. So this is the book of yeah, Romans. Says, yeah, yeah. Chapter 1 and verse 25. What does it say? Who changed the truth of God into a lie? And who changed the truth of God into a lie and told you that it was okay to be um, two men being with a man? That's right. Uh -huh. And two women being with a woman. Go ahead. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator, uh -huh. who is blessed forever. Amen. Read. For this, ca for this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. Hey, because they wanted so bad, he gave them up to vile affections. Go ahead. For even their woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So the natural use of a woman is to bear children. That's right. Why would you uh, want to go against your natural use as a woman? That's what. That's why God created women for the man. That don't mean well. Look, I'm a, look. No, 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 no. Can we get a con on three? One, two, three. Con. con. We can't be doing that. We can't change the natural use of to a woman because you want to be with another woman. Look, that's why we need you. That's why the women got power, because y'all bearing our children. Go ahead. God, this is the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse 16. God. Unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception, and in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. That's how natural use to bring forth children. God. Of course, they hurt now, and y'all, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's bitter and sweet because y'all want to do off and do weird shit y'all not supposed to, for lack of better terms. But yeah. Hey, is it more on Romans? Yeah. God. Verse 27, and likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lust one toward another. And that's what men did. They said, look, I know I got this woman who can bring birth and birth my children, but look, I got to get me a man. You agree with Yes, of course. Of course. Read that again. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lust one toward another. Men with men. Working which is unseemly. Which working unseemly, it just don't go together. Why would you do something so unnatural? Go ahead. And receive me in themselves that recompense of that error, which was me. And look, them, right. that's why, go ahead, read that, read that last part again, I got you. Uh, and receive me in themselves that recompense of that error, which was me. And they received the recompense of that error. That error was being gay. They received the recompense of that, and that, whether it be um, STDs, AIDS, he said it was what? It was meat. Right. And when it says meat, it's not talking about cow meat. It's talking about that was good. It was good that they received that that what they got. Right. Because they going against the words of the most high. That's not what we do over here. That's right. We congregate with brothers. We don't 
integrate with brothers, for lack of better. We don't do that. No, no. No. Can I get a condo on three, one, two, three? Come on. We don't Wait. do that. No. Hey, any other questions, though? You got some good questions. I seen you listening all day, though. You you still thinking? All right, well, when you find some more. What you thinking about? I'm not just thinking about nothing. I'm just listening to what y'all saying. Oh, God. God. It makes sense so far. It hit. Con. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? You finna leave? Oh, what's going on, brother? I'm here. So what's good? What's good? Any questions? No questions. All right. So you know you an Israelite, 100 percent. 100 percent. How you know? Uh, what was you told? I was told by my little brother. You was told? Y'all pray, look at Trey putting in the way. Hey. Right, yeah. that, man. Brother, put in that work for the most high, man. Oh, God. Oh, God. Praise him. Go ahead, go ahead. That's the book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 16. Uh, mm -hmm. The spirit <laughs> itself bear witness with our spirit. Uh, now we are the children of God. Read so it again, not. Read that again. Don't read that too fast. That's, that's good right there, man. Right. The spirit itself uh -huh. bear witness with, with our spirit. spirit. That's right. That we are the children of God. Hey, the hey. spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. 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 All right. All praises for that, man. All praises for Trey waking his brother up, man. God. Right, man. God. That's so, another day. Hey, so now that you that know you're an Israelite, um, what did the Lord require of you? God. What you got to do since you know you're an Israelite? I believe I got to wake up my other brothers to sleep. God. God. Hey, but before right. you go teaching, what you got to do? You gotta learn, con. You know, you, you know some commandments. You got some commandments on you. You ain't got no commandments. They told you it's it's like, but they ain't tell you no commandments, huh? All right, hey, look, hey, Trey. Oh, hey, Trey. Hey, 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 don't, Trey. Don't, don't beat him up yet. Hey, he, 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 at least he, he tried started. To tell me like sixty-four. I'm just like sixty-four or something like that. Ah, look on that. Like, yes. But it is a lot. Let's, you know let's, let's get it for this brother. Real yeah. Quick. Let's teach him real quick. All right, let's go. Um, uh, let's me, start at Exodus right? twenty, man. Say less. Go ahead. Exodus twenty. Somebody get Deuteronomy. Uh, uh, matter of fact, get uh, 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 Numbers 15, 38, right? Somebody get Ecclesiastes 12 and 13, uh, right? I'll uh, praise I got numbers. Uh, you got numbers? Yeah. What you get? Uh, what get numbers. All right, get Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Hey. You got it. Aki, what's the stick? Yeah, I got it. I'm going to get it. You did that. Hurt. What? <laughs> 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 you did that. Work, y'all. This nigga look dead. Hey! Right. Alright, so, uh, okay, hey, my brother, so look, and my sister, I want to show y'all some laws real quick. Matter of fact, you got Ecclesiastes 12 13. 12 and 13, right? Yeah, I got 12 and 13. Alright, he got 12 and 13. Oh, what you got? You got, what you got, out. This is Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Alright. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So, this is for my brothers and sisters that were waking up in these last days. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, right? What, what are we to do? Now we find out we Israelites, right? Uh, what does the Most High require of us, like the brother to ask, wait. right? Read. Fear God and keep his commandments. Do what? Fear, Fear God, God and keep, keep his commandments. commandments. Everybody at the same time. Fear, Fear God and keep his commandments. So what is it for us to do now? We got to fear God and keep his commandments. Read on. For this is the whole duty of man. For what? For, For this, this is the whole duty of man. What it say? For this is the whole duty of man. We gotta fear God and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Read on. Want to go fourteen? Yeah, read on. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing. So with every everything that you do, He gonna bring into judgment. Every secret thing, the things that you think you hiding, you ain't telling everybody else that you out here doing, brother. You ain't telling nobody else. The Bible say that He gonna put judgment upon you. Uh, Read that again, huh? For God shall bring every work into judgment. Everything you do into judgment, read. With every secret thing. Every secret thing, read on. Whether it be good or whether it be evil. Whether it be good or whether it be evil. He coming for you. He know what you're doing. So that's why you got to do what the Most High said, right? Because we already got, we got to repent already for the wickedness that we've been doing. Okay? Now let's get to these commandments. Read what you got, huh? This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, and verse 38. Uh -huh. speak, unto, speak unto the children of Israel, uh -huh. and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So it says, speak unto the children of Israel, right? And bid them that they do what? Make, make fringes in the, in the borders, borders of their, their garments. garments. See, you gotta, you, sis, you gotta put on your fringes in the borders of your garments, sis. Read that again, that's what the Most High said, watch this. 
Big right. up to the children of Israel uh -huh. and bid them that they make fringe, make them fringes in the borders of their garments. That word bid mean to command them that they put uh, fringes in the borders of their garments. Uh -huh. Right, read on. Wait. Throughout their generations. Throughout their what? Generations. Uh, no, nah, just back then. Generations. generations. Throughout your generations. Read on. And that they put upon the fringe uh -huh. of the borders a ribbon of blue. That they do what? Put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. See, we've been transsetters our whole lives. Right? But guess what? You don't see nobody out here looking like this. Right? Stepping out saucy for the most high, right? Skee! We used to step out saucy for Friday night, Saturday night, right? Skee! When you gonna step out saucy for the most high, uh, right? Be set apart, right. not be like everybody else. Oh, uh, ain't, ain't nobody gonna have what I got on tonight. This is exclusive. Well, this is exclusive to Israel. Uh, 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 Go ahead, continue. continue. Verse 39. Uh huh. And it should be unto you for a friend. Yeah, it should be unto you, sis. What's your name? Shay. Shay, it should be unto you for a friend. Watch. That ye may look upon it. Uh-huh, that you may look upon this, Shayree. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. And you go remember all the commandments of the Lord. This is your reminder right here. This is to wake you up. Keep the most high's laws, statutes, and commandments and fear him. Uh, Read on. And do them. And do them. Not just think about the laws. Oh, I can't eat that pork. No, you gotta not eat the pork. Right? No, I, I, I know today the Sabbath, I'm gonna go buy something. No, don't buy. You see what I'm saying? Uh, That's what you gotta do. That's how you show your love to the most high. When that sun go down, you damn right, I'm about to go buy something. Well, all right? I'm about to go buy something to drink. I'm thirsty right now, okay? Uh, all right, read what you got. And that you seek not after your own heart. Uh -huh, that you don't seek after your own heart. A lot of people, look, they out here seeking after, oh, I'm about to have fun. It's Saturday. I'm about to turn up. Yeah, you're going to get turned the hell off by the most high. Uh, right? They're going to turn them lights off. The bill ain't going to be paid. You see uh, what I'm saying? I'm talking about life, right? He gonna turn your life off, read. Right. In your own eyes. Uh-huh, you can't do after what you uh, think in your own eyes, read. After which he used to go a whore. After the things we used to be doing, drugs, popping bottles, all this, we can't do that no more. Uh, now, it's okay to drink in moderation, but we used to get drunk. I'm about to get wasted. Let me go get this Henny bottle. Let me go get the cognac, right? Let me go get the tequila. Patron, turn up. Nah, turn that shit down. All right, all right, read on. That ye may remember and do all my commandments and be holy unto your God. Right, so these fringes are for a reminder. Like if you go to work in the morning, right? You got a alarm clock to wake you up. Oh, it's time to go to work. You put your fringes on, you're like, oh, I got to keep these commandments. It's a reminder, right? So that's a law from the most high. That's what you see these brothers. They got fringes on head wrap, got fringes on his borders. Brothers got fringes on top of fringes, on top of fringes, man. Right. So this has got fringes on. They got their fringes on. You see what I'm saying? So you got to be in your fridges, sis. All right? It's very important for us, man. We got the Native Americans. They've been having their fridges. You know what I'm saying? They've been keeping the commandments. We got to keep ours. You see what I'm saying? It's very important. Deuteronomy 22.5. Got it? 22.5? Yeah, I already got it. this is Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Uh-huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh-huh. So the woman can't wear that which pertaineth to a man. It's all right. Wait, <laughs> that's your sis, Wait. Okay, all praise. So look, well, he told you already, right? Well, guess what? You can't be out here like that. All right? It's very important that you show respect up to Trey, man. All right? Because I'm going to give an example. This is about to get very vulgar. If Trey was walking all out with his, with, with some tight pants, with a, with a penis print, right? And he was just, yeah, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Women going to be like, cook a Trey, right? What you think brothers do when you walk out with your tights? You know what I'm saying? But if Trey don't want that, you're supposed to respect Trey, like Trey, I, hey, I don't want nobody to even think like that about me, right? right? So you cover yourself up. Let me get uh, 1 Timothy chapter 3 real quick. Chapter 2 or verse, put it in chapter 2. Read. Read that. God, it says, The woman shall not wear which that which pertaineth unto a man. So you can't wear what pertaineth to a man, right? Read. Oh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Can, Drake, can Trey put on a dress? But why? Wait. You wouldn't, you wouldn't love Trey if Trey had on a dress? Well, he, hey, wait, well, he shouldn't love you then, huh? Because you're doing the opposite of that. What he doing? Oh, praise him. That's, that's, right. that's right. Oh, praise him, Trey. All right? And that's the start right there. We working on it, all right? Read that out. For all that do so... Uh -huh.